Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, support the channel. And I am not giving you any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims. Let me read my disclaimer. The statements in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as claims for or against any product or products. This video is for research purposes only. Now let's get on with the important stuff guys. Can hydrogen or Brown's gas cause hypoxia? The important aspect here is, first of all, these are not the same. Brown's gas is not the same as hydrogen. This needs to be clarified because a lot of people are misunderstanding this. There is pretty much about zero evidence to showing that Brown's gas, it's not medically used in Japan, anywhere in the world, really. Some people get confused because they think it is being medically used. When you use pure hydrogen, and then you also supplement oxygen because a patient may need it depending on the medical condition, these are two therapeutic things that could be very beneficial, but that's not what Brown's gas is. Brown's gas is not just hydrogen and oxygen. There's other gases in there. You do not need lye to make Brown's gas, but if you were to use lye, now you're introducing another toxic component. Lye causes a lot of issues. I'm gonna go into some of interesting stories. I've been getting a lot of people emailing me about it. I'm not gonna to say too much about it, but I'm gonna share probably some information because I think it's important for you guys to know. But let's focus right now. Let's just focus on pure hydrogen. Can it cause hypoxia? I've seen zero evidence of this, but I decided to take a deep dive into it. And this is actually what I found, and let me just share it with you guys. And this is the science. This is very important in my opinion to really understand what's going on. This is from the National Library of Medicine. Hydrogen gas alleviates chronic intermediate hypoxia. Uh, it basically looks like it actually helps with hypoxia, not causing it. This is from PubMed Central also, but let me go to one other one that I liked. It basically says hydrogen protects the lungs from hypoxia and even reoxygenation injury by reducing hydroxyl radical production and inhibiting inflammatory responses. This is uh, from the scientific report back in 2018, actually, of all places. So I've also been using hydrogen for a long time. Zero issues with hypoxia. Family members using it for long times, zero issues with hypoxia that I've seen. And I've been talking with many people who have been using hydrogen for a long time, no hypoxia. So I haven't seen any evidence of this. If anybody has evidence and wants to share it, go ahead and put it on the comments below or you're even welcome to email me and I could even do a new video, but I've seen nothing. And people keep bringing this up. Now, with Brown's gas, zero evidence again. However, remember, Brown's gas also uses oxygen. Now I should say this, I think it's important that people don't understand that the purity of the oxygen that a Brown's gas device makes, especially if you're using lye, purity matters, guys. Just think about ozone therapy. You literally need special oxygen tanks with incredibly high purity of the oxygen that you're gonna be using in order for it to be therapeutic. This is very important. And the Brown's gas devices, they don't, they don't make high purity oxygen. That's not really what they're really designed to do. And, and, and if you're using lye, that's a whole other conversation because I'll, I can share some interesting information about that. Before I share the data, I'm going to share this story and, and then we can look at the data and see if there's any correlation. There was a woman. I actually got an email and there's a doctor involved. And this particular doctor had recommended, well, actually, that doctor knew another doctor and they were getting interested in hydrogen, but they got confused literally with the whole Brown's gas thing. It had been recommended to this elderly woman. She had zero kidney issues. She had zero issues with proper, being able to oxygenate her blood properly, like proper saturation levels of oxygen. Her issues were actually with the heart. Now, interestingly enough, when people, I've heard this a lot again from emails, people first start using something like Brown's gas, they get immediate results, and then later on, those results go away, and then other issues begin to arise. And we'll go into that possibly in a second. But that's been the observation that I've been making just many years of speaking with different people. Now, let's just say what happened to this particular woman. She ended up in the ER. She ended up in the ER having complete kidney failure, guys. I mean, that was a really a shocker. It's like, why would she get kidney failure? Now, one of the doctors in the emergency room actually thought that she had an interaction with something in her body that interacted with lye, of all things. And the device she was using was using lye. And what ended up happening is, they, as, as they were checking her out also, they noticed that she had major issues with the proper oxygen levels in her blood. So she didn't have proper saturation of oxygen in her blood. This is interesting. Why? Because with Brown's gas devices, one of my concerns, and I've been making videos about this for a long time, is that if you're constantly supplementing oxygen, regardless of you getting hydrogen, 
Oxygen is important and you can use it therapeutically, but me personally, based on data, you would never want to use it regularly because then it's going to affect those red blood cells and then you'll have poor levels of being able to oxygenate your blood properly, which is what happened with this woman. I'm not saying that the Brown's gas caused it, but let's read some of the scientific data. As far as her kidney failure, she was drinking the water from the device. In fact, this is what happened. It was the doctor that contacted me and had questions because he observed that I was right on all this data that I present. So he reached out to me, we spoke about it. The very first thing I asked was, what equipment is she using? The moment I heard what device it was, and I'm not gonna name names, immediately I was like, look, if I were her, I'd stop the equipment right away. And of course I would get on proper hydrogen to heal properly. She did get the proper hydrogen, but barely used it. So I wouldn't say that she's gonna be able to be getting all the benefit from the hydrogen. So I, I would say that she, you can't really give credit to the hydrogen in regards to what happened with her. But she did stop using the other piece of equipment and she did definitely start recovering. So she started recovering in, re in regards to properly being able to oxygenate the blood she, her kidneys made about a 60 or 70% recovery. So you'd be the judge. You know, do you think the equipment had any role or do you think it was just almost like coincidence? But let's go into the data. I think this is the part that's important. So what happens if you use oxygen for too long or too much oxygen? It literally says oxygen toxicity, it can damage the lungs. It happens when you're supplementing too much oxygen. Um, it's also called oxygen poisoning, toxicity poisoning, whatever and it can cause a lot of severe reactions including death i don't think you're going to get death from from using well i guess it could happen in the long term and that would because you're going to not be able to get the proper oxygen levels but that's just what it says on the data more scientific data it says if you take so what happens if you use oxygen when you don't really need it we're going to go into this woman's case because it's, it's so interesting what i found here but it basically says if you use it when you don't need it um, of course, it affects your breathing, your heart rate, these type of things, but too much oxygen can lead to oxygen toxicity or oxygen poisoning. Um, this can actually happen accidentally just by supplementing oxygen regularly and when you don't need it. That's why you really only use it in emergency cases, or if you do use it, anybody who's done research about how to use oxygen properly, you obviously want to cycle it. Sometimes you actually would limit it, so it'd be like high altitude training. Sometimes you would give yourself you know, the boost where you give yourself extra oxygen, but you don't do it for the long term. And that's the issue because with hydrogen, you can use it for the long term. That's what I've seen. It's worked great. I've done all the research. I have experimented clearly on myself and it's been working actually quite amazing. So it's very different. This is the whole reason that I always talk about purity because you're going to use it for the long term. For example, hydrogen, if you want these crazy benefits. So purity is important because you don't want to expose yourself, even if it's, for example, to small amounts of lye, because that's something that I've actually seen and, and we can go over that later if you guys want to know more if you want to comment below but let's go into when you use oxygen liberally and it literally says right here liberal use of oxygen increases risk of death wow statistically um, researchers have found oxygen therapy increases risk of death when given liberally to patients with acute illness so this is what's interesting right you probably shouldn't use it if you don't have an illness now they're saying if you have an illness it can result in death but they're talking about liberally not just using it you know here and there when you need it which I think is actually the proper way to do it this particular woman who had zero kidney issues zero issues in, in regards to proper, properly being able to oxygenate her blood but she had a heart condition and what happened here it says that it is dangerous for people who have heart conditions also strokes and other types of trauma so I thought this was kind of interesting it, it does say what else do we have here um well, it does say that if, if, if you continue to use oxygen again regularly, um, it can lead over time, cause an overproduction of free radicals in the lungs. Even if you're using hydrogen with it, if hydrogen's with it, it's most likely going to help to some extent, but it's still gonna have an effect that I, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't want to supplement oxygen all the time. I'm not against using it sometimes. I just wouldn't do it all the time. And the purity would be extremely important. I could maybe do videos about that if you guys want. If unchecked these, uh, radicals, let's see, can severely damage or kill lung tissue. Now think about that. If it's going to cause issues with the lungs, which actually lie does too, it's going to start affecting the saturation of oxygen in the blood. And that's exactly what this woman had. Maybe it's, again, maybe it's a coincidence, but I find it very interesting. And if you left for prolonged periods of time, you can suffer permanent lung damage. So in the end, guys, that was a question. Hypoxia. I hope that this answered everybody's questions. Don't forget to support the channel, subscribe, share all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.